to the cutting floor review if you're new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe hit that thumbs up and also the bell notification so you will be notified when I upload another video so today we're going to be talking about the Navy SEAL Trump bailed out recently so let's get started Eddie Gallagher is a Navy SEAL who was court-martialed for war crimes such as attempted murder premeditated murder aggravated assault with a dangerous weapon two times on a non-combatant discharging firearm to endanger non-combatants a picture with a casualty I will show you guys that later operating a drone over human casualty wrongful use and possession of controlled substance heroin and much much more charges Trump's involvement made things worse 2018 through July 2019 Eddie committed war crimes during that period of time a charge of obstruction of justice was brought against Gallagher for witness intimidation Gallagher allegedly threatened to kill fellow Navy SEALs if they report his actions many SEALs did report his action but Gallagher was acquitted on all charges except for taking a picture with a casualty he posted a photo with a dead body of a 17 year old ISIS member Trump ordered to rescind the medals of the Navy prosecutors who worked on a case fucking Trump that's not an order that's a threat Trump got involved immediately and Pete Headley at Fox News kept encouraging Trump to intervene in Gallagher's case basically get Eddie off FYI Trump and Pete Headley at Fox News is strongly against the military and against all the rules of the military and against all the Navy SEALs that reported on Eddie Gallagher and Gallagher threatened to murder those SEALs the big issue is he committed a lot I mean a lot of war crimes he is a menace in the Navy and to society so Trump thinking is oh you committed war crimes you attack Navy SEALs you destroy military morale great you my guy Trump loves bad boys and criminals Trump and Pete Headley are against Navy SEALs who follow military rules and protocol and rules of the law and this guy committed war crimes ain't that something the reason Eddie was a critic in all the other charges attempted murder and so on is because a Navy medic admitted he killed the wounded ISIS member because he wasn't going to survive his wounds but we don't really know if that shit is true I think he wants to free his friend Eddie and he will take the fall because he knows since he's a medic he won't get charged how convenient so the jury here in the case will say it's impossible to convict Gallagher with murder or attempt to murder with the damn medic testimony well played pro-war criminals when Eddie was convicted for the one charge opposing with a dead body ISIS member he was demoted then Trump got very involved and angry at the Navy so Trump reversed the demotion of Gallagher a week ago and pardoned two other servicemen accused of war crimes deeply upsetting military leaders and response military officials launched a formal review to, de to determine if Gallagher is fit to serve as a SEAL which is protocol after a conviction that review was supposed to lead to his explosion but Trump derailed all of that he tweeted Navy to promote Gallagher back to his rank and restore his military pay and pension Richard Spencer the Navy secretary does not consider a tweet in order so Richard Spencer will publicly be against Trump in this case but in private he tried to arrange a side half deal with Trump like we can accommodate half of your request Mr. President we will follow military protocol but won't give Gallagher his trident pin back like a wishy-washy person two-faced half-ass etc you get the picture so Trump said I don't care about your stupid military rules I love war criminals by the way do you remember when Trump said during his 2016 campaign we should kill terrorists and their family members and kids 
So he always been in favor of war crimes since day one. So since Navy Secretary Spencer didn't do what Trump wanted for Gallagher quick enough, he ordered Secretary of Defense Mark Esper to fire him immediately. This is Trump M.O. So Spencer was fired on November 27th. That's sad. A forced resignation is the same thing as being fired. And Gallagher still thinks he is being retaliated on because of Amber Green wants his pen removed. Rightly so, Emma Green wants wrongdoers such as Gallagher to face consequences. And Gallagher went on Fox News and trashed him. So all of this mess is like Trump is saying to Mr. Gallagher, you can kill anybody you want. I'm not going to do a goddamn thing about it. I'm going to make sure nobody stops you. Kill all the innocent people you want, just like a damn villain. Trump been told over a thousand times, you can't keep firing people who disagrees with you. He hates when people tell him what to do. He loves when people kiss his ass. Since Gallagher was convicted of one crime, the law is he needs to lose his trident pen, pay in pension, and force out the Navy. So Trump told the Navy to ignore all military rules and do what I say. When shit is like that, is order you will have chaos the military tells the soldiers don't take pictures with corpse is against military policy and gallagher took the pictures anyway it's all over google gallagher defines the rules and president rescues him and he got to keep everything like it never happened no consequences at all for his actions with all of his charges he is a person who was a rule breaker a very evil person and by displaying those pictures he took jeopardized all branches of U.S. military. The enemy will see those pictures online and get angry and want to kill all Americans. And that's how our servicemen get killed and a massive civil war will start. That's why military have that rule, don't take those pictures. Trump sides with criminals on a regular basis. And it doesn't make sense for Esper to be upset with Spencer. Because Spencer did the right thing, sort of. I guess Esper didn't like that Spencer went to Trump first and tried to negotiate a deal to kick Gallagher out the Navy. Because Esper loves Trump and wants Gallagher to stay. He also claims Spencer skipped chain of command. I don't think so because Spencer works for Trump as Navy Secretary. I think it's a lot more to, to why Secretary of Defense Esper fire Spencer. I know for a fact Trump ordered Esper to fire Spencer. Esper pretends to follow military rules and loves to kiss Donald Trump's ass for a living. And this quote is coming from Esper's mouth. He said Trump ordered him to allow Gallagher to keep his status in the elite service despite resistance from the Navy leaders. So Esper didn't have to follow Trump's order. He could have resigned quit but his ego is too damn big for that shit he rather fire someone than to defy Trump's odor even though he knows Trump is jeopardizing our men to get killed in the future cause the world is seeing this play out Trump don't care who gets killed as long as not him he rather for him to be the only one in this world that's how evil this motherfucker is this mess that Trump and Esper created has done great damage to our military because wherever we go, we will be trusted less. And when they are trusted less, people will fire at them and more people will die. Donald Trump never cared about any of that. All he cares about is he likes people who break the law and murder people who aren't combatants. He's a monster, doesn't understand anything about military rules or laws. He is the devil. If Gallagher was a black man, Trump will act the opposite. He will scream until his eyes bleed, lock him up. And if Trump gets word that a white man loves him, he will love it. Like he just got fucked by the most beautiful woman in the world. See, Trump loves criminals. If you are a white criminal, he got your back 100%. No matter what type of crime you committed, he got you. You could be a serial killer and he would love your ass. 
but if you are a black mexican agent and a criminal it could be from the biggest to the smallest crime out there he will hate your ass even if you are an innocent person never committed a crime in your life he will hate your ass if you are one of those races if you are not white you are beneath him you are trash scum to him that's the type of person he is he's the devil even his white friends joke about before he was president how Trump talked about other races and acted like he's the godfather and wanted to hire a hitman to kill someone who disagrees with him. He wished he was a mob boss. He gets off when he watches mob type movies. If it's mob related or mob adjacent, he loves it. I bet his white friend's kitchen table talk is like, boy, if people only knew the real Donald Trump before he was president, they wouldn't have voted for this piece of shit. And another thing I peeped out about him is he loves, I mean, loves to stick his nose in all controversy topics. He really don't care about the topic. He just wants to chime in on it because when he sees everybody talking about what his two cents is on the issue, Trump feels like this is winning to him. It's all about winning to him. Robert Kraft, the owner of New England Patriots, said one day Trump called him and said, I don't care about Kaepernick kneeling or not for the national anthem. All I care about is winning. I just want to see people on my side, and when I see that, I'm winning. No matter what the controversy is, I don't give a damn about the issue. He said he loves celebrity controversy. I love to be the most popular one in the world. That's how a dictator and a narcissist thinks. And another thing, the only reason he didn't chime in about leaving Neverland HBO docuseries is because Michael Jackson is dead. If Michael Jackson was alive, Trump would be all over that shit. I bet he would announce all law enforcement officers across the U.S., Whoever arrests him first, I will give you a million dollars. And you know stupid ass white people in the forest would jump all over that shit like flies on shit. And the only reason why he hired Amarosa in the White House is not because she's black. It's because she's a villain. And Trump loves villain. And that's what Amarosa is. She is a villain on The Apprentice. He didn't like the fact she's black, but he was like, oh shucks, she kisses my ass, so that's good enough, you're hired. Since the day he took office unfairly, there has been over 10 books written about him, more than any other president during the presidency. Over 10 books, you guys. For God's sakes, Amarosa wrote a book about his ass. I'm even thinking about writing a book about Trump no good self. <laughs> After she was fired, he called her and told her they're running a big operation here. What the fuck? Day? Really, man? So you ain't running shit in the White House. This man said day, y'all. Wow. Amarosa was smart about recording a lot of conversations while she was working there. Trump is the most evil and number one villain in the United States. He's the worst president in the United States history. Look at his track record. He showed us who he is from day one. A racist. He hates black people, Mexicans, Muslim, Middle Eastern people. I can't wait to see the day when Trump throws Rudy Giuliani under the bus. Because it's going to happen. It's coming. Watch. And we are going to be laughing up a storm. And we found out that Rudy signed a deal with Ukraine to pay him $300,000. We have the documents. And Rudy is doing dirty deals just like he is accusing Hunter Biden with. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> and all the Republicans who gave $1 million plus dollars to Trump's campaign, he threw under the bus. If I was one of those people who gave him a million dollars, then fuck me in the end, throw me under the bus, I would want to kill that person. Jeopardizing my freedom? No way, bitch. And Trump talks to racist ass Bill O'Reilly recently on the phone. Bill asked him, 
Did you order Rudy to talk to Ukraine or go to Ukraine about all of this Burisma and Biden issues? Trump said no, Rudy have other clients. Fox and CNN talked to Rudy and Rudy said, I only have one client and that is President Trump. And he told me to go to Ukraine to investigate the Bidens. And it's in the damn transcript that Trump told Zolinsky to talk to Rudy. And I will have Rudy call you about the Biden investigation. It's in black and white, man. Trump contradict himself all over the place. Every fucking week, he put his foot in his mouth. Well, you guys, I have to go. Thank you for watching. Comment below. Hit the subscribe and like button. Share this video. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.